Here is the world news from BGI TV, Babak Bagbede Imo TV. First are the major headlines for the world news. I am yours faithfully, Mo Wiwe, Revila Lawa. Malami speaks on what Buhari will consider before granting Inamdekano's in bail. IPOC warns against violation of Igbo women. Also, naming sponsors of insecurity tension in Imo as stakeholders arrive venue. Ola Dengese never represents Igbo, can't resign as lawyer, activist, counsel. Made still two year old boy in Lagos and to foreign. Hundreds rally in Sudan against military rule as security titans. And to sport, AFCON, 23 players arrive Super Eagles camp. Igalo, four others expected. Now the news in details. The Anthony General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, on Tuesday said President Muhammad Buhari will consider the interest of Nigerians in the court to release the Nambekanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOL. Featuring on NTA's Good Morning Nigeria show, Malami said, by way of general statement to the two issues presented, the issue relating to Kano and by extension IPOL, what I can tell you for certain is that the decision of the president is based fundamentally and at all times on public interest consideration. In the act of governance and what I have come to learn about the mind and acts of the president, Muhammad Buhari, is to consider the 200 million as against the limited people. By extension, the issue of Kanu, what would as well govern the decision of the president in terms of whatever request is presented, is the public interest as against the limited sectional interest of it. Recently, some evil leaders urged Buhari to grant Kanu freedom. The elders led by former Minister of Aviation in the First Republic, Chief Mbazulike Amechi, had made the call during a meeting with Buhari at the State House in Abuja. The Amitri led elders and urged President Mohamed Buhari to grant the IPOC leader an unconditional release. Kanu was rearrested in June 2021 in Kenya and repatriated to Nigeria to continue his trial before an Abuja Federal High Court. Following his repatriation, the separatist has been locked up at the Department of State Services, DSS. The IPOC leader is facing trial before Justice Binta Inyako led courts for charges based on terrorism. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOL, yesterday warned that it would not tolerate any violation of Southeast and Igbo women under any guise by security agencies and their workers. IPOL also said that the people of the people of Olu Zone celebrated Christmas and New Year peacefully because the wicked abductors of Roches Okoroche's son-in-law, Ugumba Uche, who also abductors were exposed. The pro Biafra group alleged the alleged abductors of Uosu were not exposed timelessly Perpetrators would have, as usual, quickly probably killed him after some days, blamed their evil on ESN to further heighten tension and project IPOP and ESN as terrorist group. IPOP further alleged that the police and army are using frustration and lack of professionalism in discharging their duties to cook up lies against the people of Southeast, particularly Emo states. The Imo state governor, O Uzodema, has put tension in Imo state as stakeholders strong to Oweri to hear from him, Uzodema, the names of those who have been sponsoring insecurity in Imo states. The governor has announced he would announce the names of the alleged sponsors of insecurity in Imo state today, Tuesday. At the time of filing this report, many stakeholders have started arriving at the venue of the event, the Sam Umbakwe Executive Chamber in the government house in Oweri. For now, some of the dignitaries present include the president of Ahanele Indigo Worldwide, Professor George Obiozo, the former senator who represented Imo North Senatorial District, Matthew Umwago, the Imo State Commissioner for Police, Hussein Rabiu, former Minister of Information, Walter Ofonagoro, Speaker, Imo State House of Assembly, Kennedy Ibe, former Deputy Governor, Jude Abaso, also former Imo State House of Assembly, Speakers and Deputies, former and present members of the Imo State House of Assembly, among other dignitaries, are the venue. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Chief Yomi Aliu, has urged members of the public to disregard whatever comment is emanating from Ola Yomi Koiki and Pelumi Olaja Ndesi regarding Chief Sunday, Adiyemo, a.k.a. Sunday, Igo, 
Aliu, who is the counsel for Igbo, said in a statement on Monday that Olaja Mbese was never engaged as counsel for Igbo and had no right to speak on his behalf. He explained that Ilana Omo Odua engaged Olaja Mbese to represent the 12 persons arrested by the Department of State Services at Igbo's house during the bloody raid on July 1st, 2021. Based on this, Aliu said the lawyer did not have Igbo's authorization to speak for him, adding that whatever he said should never be attributed to Yoruba nation activists. The council also said Koike's statement about Igbo should be disregarded because the activists did not ask him to speak for him or any issue. Aliu stated, my attention has been directed by Chief Sunday Ademo himself to the online statement of Pelumi Oladengbisi that he has resigned from the legal team of Chief Sunday Igbo, a.k.a. Igbo Osha. I instructed Pelumi Oladengbisi to secure the release of the 12 people arrested in Chief Sunday Ademo's house. I never involved him in Chief Sunday's Ademo's matter, thus he has a limited brief. A 14-year-old housemaid identified as Favor Wozo has abducted a mistress' two-year-old son with a plan to take him to Emo States. Report learned that the maid took the board from a Sunday school class in church, pretending she was sent by the mother, but she was made away with him and started begging for arms to raise money for transportation. She told all suspected members of the public that a boy was our younger brother, left behind by their parents, who she lied died in an accident in December while begging for arms at Yaba Lagos 1 Victoria Umwafo, who observed that the boy was very ill, took the door to a house in the Shagamu area of Ogun State on December 22, 2021. The Ogun State Police Public Relations Officer, Abimbola Oyemi, confirmed the, to newsmen on Tuesday that immediately the boy fully recovered. The suspect wanted to single-handedly take him to Imo State, saying this arose the woman's suspicion and she reported at Shagamu Police Division on Monday. Upon the report, the DPO of Shigamu Division, CSP, Okiki Agumbiade, detailed his detective to, rule, to go and bring the girl and the little boy. On interrogation, the girl confessed that she was a maid to the mother of the little boy and that she left with the boy since the 19th of December 2021 with the intention of taking the boy to Amoraku Omose in Isiala Umbano, local government area of Imo State, OEMI explained. He said the maid had confessed that she took the baby from the church during Sunday school period, and since the Sunday school teacher knows her with the baby's mother, she had no problem releasing the boy to her. And to foreign story. Hundreds of Sudanese anti-coup protesters rallied Tuesday chanting slogans against the military as security forces deployed in Khartoum and neighboring cities witness she said, days after the resignation of the country's civilian premier. Protesters shouted no, no to military rule and called for the fall of Sudan's ruling council, headed by General Abdel Fattah al baran who led a military coup on October 25th that derailed a transition to civilian rule. Treats leading to the presidential palace and army headquarters in central Khartoum were sealed off amid the heavy presence of riots police, paramilitary forces and army personnel, the witnesses said. Dozens also gathered in the neighboring city of Omdomain and barricaded streets using rocks and bricks. Pro-democracy activists have stepped up calls for demonstrations since the October coup, which saw then Prime Minister Abdullah Andok and Cabinet Ministers detained. On November 21st, Bonham reinstated Andok in an agreement promising election in mid-2023, but the protest movement slammed the deal as betrayal and as kept all streets pressure. And to sports story. The England based trio of Kalechi Ienacho, Alex Iwobi, and Wilfred Ibibi were among the nine players who arrived at the Super Eagles camp, Bolton White Hotel camp, on Tuesday in Abuja, ahead of the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon. Other players who arrived in the early hours of Tuesday morning include three other English based players, namely Frank Oyeka, Brentford FC, England. William Epon, Watford FC, England, and Oluwa Shemilogo Ajayi, West Bromwich Albion, England. Others include Kenneth Omeru, CD Leganis, Spain, Oluwa Aino, Torino FC, Italy, and Kalechi Wakali SD Oscar, Spain. In turn, coach Austin Obagon was only able to train with 14 players on Monday at the Moshuda Villa National Stadium, prior to the arrival of the nine players, which brought the total number of players in the camp to 23. 
No fewer than five players have still been expected, including Jamil Collins, FC Paderborn, O7 Germany, Tyron Eboe, Venezia FC Italy, Joseph Amipo, Glasgow Raiders Scotland, Samuel Chukwezi, Villarreal FC Spain, and Odion Igano, Al Shabaab, we have Saudi Arabia. That was the world news from BGI TV. But before we go, a quick recap of the headlines. Malami speaks on what Buhari will consider before granting Inamnikano's release. IPOP warns against violation of evil women. We also brought to you naming sponsors of insecurity, tension in emo as stakeholders arrive venue. We also brought to you Olada Ngese, never represents Igbo, can't resign as lawyer, activist, counsel. Made still two year old boy in Lagos and to foreign scene. Hundreds rally in Sudan against military rule as security titans. And finally, sports. AFCON 23 players arrived Super Eagles camp. Igalo, four others are expected. Thank you for watching. We appreciate You can link up on YouTube channel Baba Bagede Imo TV. Please subscribe and kindly click on the notification bell for updates as well. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page for updates. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placements and coverage of event and function, the phone number streaming on the screen is the number to call to the marketing department. I am yours faithfully. More we re reveal on the wall. Thank you for watching. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon from wherever you're watching from. God bless.